Right, cod dish. Um, basically what we'll be using is uh, shallot, uh, tomatoes, garlic, uh, aubergine, uh, mace, ground mace and ground allspice. And, and then to finish, we'll saute that off and then to finish after that we will use uh, sort of probably about a tablespoon of mint and a tablespoon of coriander uh, just to finish the dish. Right, so I'll start with the shallot. Doesn't have to be perfect, finely dust. I'll set that aside. Good idea to get your preparation ready first before you start. Just a tomato. Core it. Cut it to threes one way, and then cut it to threes the next. Same again, get your preparation ready. Moving on to the aubergine. If you're going to do it for four, I would suggest to use a whole aubergine. For two, on this matter, I'm just using half. Same again, keep everything quite simple. So that's that. Moving on to the garlic, depends on your own preference. On this stage I'll be using just three, three cloves. Alright, so what I'm going to use is roughly about three tablespoons of olive oil. And the pan is very hot. So turn down the heat, you don't want it too smoky. Um, with that, uh, the shallots that you've already diced and the garlic straight into the pan. Okay, that is rather uh, hot. I'll just let that cool down a bit. Turn the heat right down. And, and what I'm going to put in here, roughly, give or take, about half a teaspoon of mace and then half a teaspoon of ground allspice. Might look burnt, but it won't be. <laughs> um, and then the aubergines are going in. Theoretically, with the aubergines, it'd be a wise idea to um, give them a quick salting beforehand, just to withdraw all the moisture out, and then just dry them off with a small tea towel. Pat them dry, leave them aside, and then you're back to square one again. And then with that, that's just going to cook out now. So while this is cooking, you can get the rest of the dish ready. Uh, we're probably talking about a tablespoon of chopped mint and chopped coriander. So all I'm doing now is picking off uh, some mint leaves. Keep your eye on the aubergines so they don't catch. If you need to add some more oil because it will catch with that, uh, just add another tablespoon as you go. So I think that'll be enough mint. And then with the coriander, it's my own preference with this, I always keep the roots on because you find out there's more flavour in there. So bunch it all up. And just a rough chop. And that is ready to go. Right, so I've sautéed off uh, the aubergines, the shallot, the mace, the ground, out, ground allspice um, with that, just until they're soft, so you've got some texture left. And with that, I'm just going to throw in the tomatoes, and then we'll cook out again for approximately two minutes, just to get them. Still a bit of texture there, but uh, the flavour is running through it. So that's all ready to go, and now just to finish is your coriander and mint. Give it a stir through. Check the seasoning.
And that's it. What we'll do here, if you're at home, leave that somewhere warm. Just ticking over while you finish off your fish. So what I've got here is a lovely piece of cod off a two kilo fillet. The same as I get in the restaurant. Two kilo fillet will probably be about so big. And we just cut down to various steak sizes, I suppose you could call it. Nice meaty piece of fish. Stunning. All I'm going to do now is a quick season. In this certain case here, once you start pan frying, get a crisp skin, turn it over into a preheated oven, about 180, uh, gas mark five, I think it is. And um, probably about five to six minutes, but keep checking it. You want it to go to the stage of a well done, medium well steak. So you test the edges and uh, you should be laughing, basically. Um, leave it to rest for two minutes, same as you would do with meat. Um, warm your aubergines and tomatoes through and then I'll show you how to present it afterwards. I'm going to pan fry the cod. Um, skin side down, presentation wise. And then, literally, be careful it might stick. Give it a quick lift and just let it sit. Let it crisp up for the next one minute. Turn down the heat if you're indoors again um, into the oven for five to six minutes, uh, about 180. So the aubergine goes in the centre of the plate. Now the cod. Of this I'll just give it a squeeze of lemon. Just to enhance the flavour. Cod is breaking up. With that. Juices. Couple of sprigs of coriander. Maybe another squeeze of lemon. Preferably without the pip. And here you go, uh, roasted cod with spiced aubergine and tomato salad, which you'll find on the menu at the Swan and Swimbrook.